Hey everybody, I'm Nick McLennan. I play in the Australian metal band Make Them Suffer and welcome to my very humble home studio. The entertainment industry was amongst the first to suffer from the repercussions of the coronavirus outbreak. We were halfway through a tour in Europe when the US and Australian governments announced travel bans, so we immediately had to pack our bags and fly home. I'm currently in self-isolation, so I'm going to try and turn this massive lemon into some tasty, tasty guitar riffs. So I play Jackson guitars. This one is a Pro Series soloist. It's a six string with a 25 and a half inch scale neck. I play in drop baritone tuning, so basically that's A, E, A, that's D, F sharp, and then the first string's B. I know some of you guitarists immediately think, how does this guitar support this tuning? The answer is, I have somewhat of an unorthodox playing style and it involves playing the strings very hard. I use Diodario NYXLs, which start at 74, then we make the jump to 54, this one's a 42, then we got a 13, 17, 13. Anything much smaller than this set, your guitar's likely going to run into some intonation issues. So it forces you to dig into the string and the result is a very smooth, rich, resonant rhythm tone. While I'm on tour, I run my signal through my Kemper. While I'm at home, I enjoy using amp sims and there are heaps of great products out there. On the market, the first one I use um, is Neural DSPs. Uh, plug in the Omega Ampworks Granifier, which has some really, really awesome sounds. Then I run this signal into Get Good Drums Studio Cabzilla. I'm a massive fan of any guitar cab loaded with V30s. Here, Nolly and Misha have done very well to recreate the V30s impulse responses. Cool, so I'll be really, really quick. I'm going to play this riff in succession. Uh, it's a riff that I play during sound check. And we're going to play it over and over again. We'll play it in normal time and then I'm going to slow it right down, show you what I'm doing note for note. And um, yeah, you'll see exactly what I'm doing. So this is what it sounds like. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm playing the C sharp as the root note. And then I'm applying the use of an arpeggio around that root note. So I'm playing the, uh, the G sharp diminished over the F um, arpeggio. The chord sounds like this. And then when you arpeggiate it, it sounds like this. So uh, put those two together, I'll play it in normal time. Now we're going to play it slowed right down, uh, bearing in mind this is in 4-4. That's basically it. Um, if you're playing in baritone tuning, drop A, uh, like myself, I'll show you the fingering really quickly. So my pinky finger is going to be hanging out at the eighth fret on the bottom string. My ring finger is going to be uh, resting on the seventh fret on the next string. Subsequently, my index finger will be placed on the fifth fret of, uh, of the following string and my middle finger will be resting on the G sharp which is the uh, sixth fret on the last string we're going to play. And then we move up to the second string, the fifth fret and then uh, the same string on the eighth fret.
So then we're just applying the power cord and we're going to add a sequence of uh, rhythms to, uh, to this passage. So just adding um, really cool dynamic effects like uh, string bends and uh, pinch squeals, pinch harmonics, etc. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for me. Um, make sure you guys stay safe, uh, stay inside, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. If you ever want to reach out to me, if you have any questions at all or comments, feel free to find me on my personal Instagram or through my band page. So we'll see you on the other side. Ciao.